let's talk about UFC 273's main event, which is in your division. Um, we have Alexander Volkanovsky versus a Korean zombie. Volkanovsky is currently the featherweight champion, um, having taken the belt from Max Holloway um, and, su and successfully defending it during their rematch and then winning against Brian Ortega. So Volkanovsky is a tactical striker with an impressive gas tank, um, but the zombie has heavy, heavy hands. So what do you think of this matchup? I think it's going to be undoubtedly entertaining. Um, you know, so no matter what, uh, who wins or who loses, it's going to be entertaining either way. So that's the good thing about the fight. Mm -hmm. um, I would have to favor Volkanovski. If I had to pick, of course, I'm not betting. I'm not that confident in it, and I don't bet. And maybe I will one day, but right now I just don't. Uh, it's too stressful for me when I put money online, you know. But yeah. uh, And I, I enjoy watching the fight, so I like enjoying it, you know. But, um... If I had to pick, I would pick Volkanovski. Uh, he's very tight with his fundamentals. And, uh, well, for example, Zombie fought Brian Ortega. And uh, I think the jab of Ortega gave Zombie problems. And uh, Volkanovski has a great jab. So, you know, it's hard to do MMA math like that just because he beat this guy doesn't mean that guy beats that guy. But in the manner that Volkanovski beat Ortega, in the manner that Ortega beat Zombie, I think that Volkanovski has an edge on the feet because that zombie know, is hard to put away. But he doesn't have the same tank as Volkanovski. Well, he he doesn't get too tired. Uh, he's he leaves a lot of openings. I think like later in the rounds, like he he'll fight with his hands down by his side and stuff like that. But he keeps going. You know, he's not going to quit on fatigue. Um, in fact, I think he'll have more stamina than uh, Ortega did. I think Ortega, Ortega uh, looked very uh, tired at the end of the Volkanovski fight. Mm -hmm. I think I think Zombie can maintain a pace just as well as Ortega did, you know, um, mm -hmm. if not better. I, you know, even though Ortega beat Zombie, uh, I, I think Zombie's cardio would be there, you know, but... Um, he gets a little bit reckless sometimes, you know, puts his hands way low and swings from the hip and stuff. You volunteered as a backup if either fighter couldn't make it. Who would you rather fight title aside? I would take either of those fights. That would be great. But I would have to say, well, there's pros and cons. I was going to say Volkanovski because he's the reigning defending champ. And if you beat him, I mean, he really is perceived as the best right now. Uh, him and Max Holloway. And uh, so, but Zombie has the only other twister. And so if I beat the Zombie, then the battle of the two dudes who know the twister would be completed as well. So I think both of the fights are of epic proportion. Okay, I love it. Great explanation. All right, guys. So your question to vote on who will get more significant strikes in at UFC 273's main event, Volkanovski or the Korean Zombie, vote now.